What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? This clip that we about to look at, y'all, I mean, this gentleman right here is speaking facts, all right? A lot of us that's coming into this industry, y'all just get thrown in with anybody that only has, like, less than three months, maybe less than a year of truck driving experience and these mega carriers is putting you with them so they can train you but that's not properly assessed there's been a lot of trucking accidents due to inadequate training by trainers that don't have enough time to learn to train no more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What's going on, everybody? My response, hey, I testimony. I you guys a quick clip of a bad trucking accident. Now, these guys here, they are known for putting trainers inside of a truck that have absolutely no experience. Also, Mr. Hamilton, I want you guys to see this message that he left. Now, you guys can read the message. These companies don't care. They don't care who they put in their truck. All they care about is the money that goes back into their pockets. Now, what I want to stress to you guys today, especially to you new guys that's coming in the industry, as soon as you get that CDL and you go to one of these companies, especially one of these mega companies, make sure you find out how long your trainer has been driving. Now, you do have the right to know that if your trainer has been into any accidents and you have the right to know how long your trainer has been driving. Now, you guys got to understand something. It is your life that you put in that hand. It's your life that's in his hand and it's your life that's in your hands. You have the right to take control of that. Now, I want to tell you guys a quick story that happened to me. When I first started driving, I'm going to actually call his name. I'm not going to call his last name. When I first started driving, I had a trainer by the name of Joe. Now, I got in Joe's truck on a Sunday. We drove approximately 60 miles. He was driving. We stopped at a rest stop. He went inside the rest stop, came out. I smelled marijuana. Didn't know what was going on. You know, I'm due to the industry. I didn't know if he smoked or not. But as soon as he got back in the truck, we got back driving. By the time we got to Baltimore, Maryland, almost to Baltimore, he pulls over. And he tells me, you go ahead and drive. I'm sleeping. Now, this is my first time ever being in a semi-truck as in out of school. You know, before I got ready to go down that mountain, he was in the back sleep high. And uh, I didn't understand the percent grades. I didn't understand when they say um, truckers use lower gear on mountain. I didn't understand. I didn't know that you're supposed to be in a lower gear before you start descending the mountain. I had no idea. So what I did was, as I started, I was in 10th gear. As I started to go down the mountain, I started picking up speed. And I remember it, and I saw the sign. I remember the sign saying, trucker, use lower gear. So with my knowledge that didn't have any trucking knowledge, I decided to try to put, to try, even though I did not know how to downshift, but I tried to downshift, probably going at that point about 70 miles an hour. The stupidity of me, I took the truck out of gear, thinking I was going to downshift going that fast. And at that point, we had a runaway truck. It was by the blessing of God or whoever you believe in, your creator, that I didn't crash and just kill me, the trainer, and anybody else. Luckily, that truck came to a stop. I did not run out of the air before that truck came to a stop. And I told you guys that story to say, Know who your trainer is. Have some understanding. Don't let these people put your life in jeopardy just to make some money. Also, when you're with a trainer, 
He's there to train you. You are there to drive. You guys should not be driving as a team. When you driving, he should be there watching and correcting your mistakes. He should not tell you, I'm tired. He's getting in the back so you can drive 10, 11 hours by yourself. That's not how it should be. You should not be doing that until you're getting ready to get into your own truck where you know and you're confident 100% what you're doing. Now, I just want to bring you guys this quick video to tell you, don't let these companies pressure you into getting a trainer that only have six months experience. Make sure these guys have, at, I, personally, I would say a year and a half to two years experience. I would not put my life in the hands of someone who don't even have a year experience. Facts, super facts, man. Man, listen to this to, to this gentleman's testimony. Drivers, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you guys been with an inadequate trainer? Have you guys been with a trainer that didn't care about you and what you was learning? Was you with a trainer that was always in the back, always on his phone, always not paying attention? Was you with a trainer? That all he cared about was just the money because realize he's making money off of you. While you're in that seat, he's making money. While you're driving his truck, he's making money. That's why you see all these lease ops with these mega carriers, Prime, Swift. Every time you see them, they never have a trainer slash company driver. All the all the trainers are lease ops. Ask yourself that question. When you get in the truck or when you get with the company, ask them, uh, are, are the trainer that you're putting me with, is that a company driver or a lease driver? And they might sit there and be like, why? It doesn't matter, do it? Yes. Yes, it does. Because... If you put me with a company driver that has at least a year of experience or more, they are, I, I feel that they will be laser focused on getting that driver together versus putting them with a lease driver that only cares about the condition of the truck if the, if, if the trainee tears it up or his money if he's not getting paid enough. Drivers, what's your thoughts about this in the comments below? Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound.